everybody, how you doing? It's Oz with Gianna's Towing, and uh, we're going to switch it up again today. Uh, this right here, this video is for Cool G, my boy. Uh, he left a comment uh, asking me why I started this roadside and towing company and how. Now, when I got that, I had to think about that for, for quite a bit. That's deep. You know, it's not something that took me a little while to kind of ponder on that. And I'm going to flip it around. And um, the reason I actually started my company was because just really, if you really want, to, want me to be honest, it's because of money, really. I mean, I needed a way to pay my bills. And, um, you know, not knowing a whole lot about different things, you know, cars and trucks were always a hobby of mine. So it was only a matter of time before I stumbled upon, you know, the roadside assistance world, which led me into town. them truck squad rescue okay and um, I was doing you know 15 20 calls a day so I knew I was kind of a natural at it when I first started doing it and um, I was making good money I mean I was making good money. someone else's buck and you go do your own thing. You know, it sounds a little harsh, but it's kind of how it goes. So, long, long answer. You know, I personally like being in this industry because it keeps me connected. And what I mean by that is, you know, I get to go to the dealerships and talk with the people and see the newer cars. I mean, I, I did a couple videos. You know, I get to drive a, an M8 BMW and a Mercedes and Range Rovers and the new Dodges. So it's a good, cool way to be connected to the industry to kind of keep you relevant. You know what I'm saying? Because now I get to kind of be an ambassador and an employee almost for the big people like Chevy and Honda. You know, depending on what motor club you're with, they can have some big, serious contracts with some big names. You know, and, and that's always the fun side of it. You know, there's the dark side of the business, and I don't really want to touch on that because I want to keep it positive. It's a positivity tell. Now, how I started the company was with blood, sweat, and tears. I mean, I'm gonna, I can't really sum that all up. You know, that's gonna be a long video right there or a series of videos. But for the most part, you know, I just made it happen. You know, uh, things always work against you, it seems. But I had that burning desire to make it happen. And I had my trials and tribulations and now I have, you know, two trucks. I got a nice roadside vehicle, and I started with a little uh, Jeep. And uh, if you would uh, ask me a year ago if I thought I'd have two trucks and, uh, you know, the little tiny bit of success that I do, I wouldn't believe you at all. So um, here's a couple things I wrote down to kind of help you guys out in the business. There's about 16, 17 things on this list that I think are really important, and I kind of live by them to kind of help me out. Uh, first things first, number one, always make sure you lock up the payment. What I mean is when you get a call, you know, either make sure you're getting paid because if you're on AdWords or on different types of things, they could be contracted and they're calling you and they're thinking they're getting a free service and then you show up and do the service and then you're not going to get paid. So always make sure you have that understanding with the customer on a retail call that, uh, you know, they have to pay and how they're paying and stuff like that. Uh, fill out your invoices before you get to the scene. It'll save some time if you got handwritten invoices like me. Uh, just go ahead and get them filled out and um, it'll save you some time. That way you just have them signed when you get there. Uh, always call the customer and touch base with them. Because I can't tell you how many times I roll up or whatever and I didn't call back you know, when I first started out and you either can't get a hold of them, they're not there, whatever the case may be. Use wasted all that time because you didn't make a phone call uh, so always you know call them be friendly be cordial they're already going to be mad at you and mad at the whole situation so you know you want to set the tone you don't want two mad guys going into a call you know they're going to be already a little ticked because they've probably been already burnt through three four different companies that didn't show up 
So by the time they get to you, you know, they might think you're the one that's just taking forever. So, you know, always just be happy and smile and try to make a bad situation better the best way you can. That's always been my strength in this business. And that's probably how I made it so far. Um, so, you know, be uh, aware of your surroundings and everything. Um, when you get to the call, you know, that's always going to help. And, uh, you know, you always want to say goodbye to your loved ones. You know, whenever you're leaving on a tow call or roadside call, you don't know what's out there, what's going to happen. So always say goodbye to your loved ones after a call when you leave or before, you know, and then uh, make sure that you do that. And uh, you want to make a plan. So say, for instance, you get a call that comes in, you know, Google the address, you know, check out what the surroundings are, if you're going to back in, whatever the case may be. Uh, make sure you have all your gear, you know, proper uh, performance, or was it proper proper preparation prevents poor performance so you always want to make sure you're prepared go above and beyond for the customer because so i can't tell you how many times you know say it's a little 12 13 dollar call because you haven't started your company yet you know tips are gonna make a big difference in your bottom line so if you're doing good work you're gonna get tips you're not gonna get tipped all the time take your pictures always take pictures even if it's roadside tire changes lockouts take your pictures that way there's no discrepancies if there's any damage claims or anything you protect yourself even a short video uh, don't go too deep you know don't be trying to be a hero out there in the field you know uh, sometimes you have to, to get the job done but you got to know when to hold them and when to fold them and that's for sure don't ever set anything on a car goes for your lockout tools, cell phone, nine times out of ten, you're going to forget it. I've lost so much equipment over the years because I've set it down, and one thing I learned is not to set your stuff down on the vehicles. Always give the customer the lock nuts and uh, the little, you know, keys and stuff like that. You don't want to be responsible, so as soon as you get those things out, you definitely want to put your hand on the customer because then they're responsible for that. Cool G, uh, you asked me, I'm going to go back to it straight up, why I started the company. You know, I, I hope I answered it. I know I rambled a little bit there, but um, I started it really because I enjoy helping people. The money's great. I'm my own boss. I don't have to worry about someone breathing down my neck over my life, you know. And, uh, and that's it. You know, I did it for myself. You know, I've had so many trials and tribulations through this. It's, it's not even funny. I mean, blood, sweat, and tears. I just went through it all. And I'll uh, give you guys a little show of, uh, you know, some of the fruits of my labor here. This is my nice little Ram 5500 Cummins. I love this truck. It's an extension of me. I got my Subaru that I run my roadside calls in. And I would have never in a million years would have thought I'd have these to help me extend my business. And 
and to uh, you know to do that. You know, I like the nicer things. You know, but you should have seen my first tow truck. It was a piece. But that's it. You know, uh, I just want you guys to know there's hope. You know, you're gonna have hard days in this business, and you're gonna have the easy ones. Uh, roadside assistance, you're definitely gonna get out what you put into it. So just you know, remember when you're out there in the field, be careful do the best you can smile be happy be upbeat with the customer and i promise you you're going to see your money start to rise up very quickly you can turn that one dollar tip or no tip into a hundred dollar bill very very easily um i'll be doing some more videos and uh you know as always you guys please like and subscribe help me out i know it's always a little bit rough at the beginning just like everything else but one thing life has taught me is as long as you have that burning desire and you make a plan and you execute your plan and you just do the best work you can, things will fall in the line. I promise you. So, uh, guys, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions at all or anything that you need help with, hit me up on Facebook. Uh, put it in the comments. I'll do the best I can. I know I'm not perfect. You know, I look back at some of these videos and I see and I made mistakes and better ways. Uh, and, and I seen the ways I can better myself and that's really why I did the videos to start off with was just to kind of see myself and to make myself better and uh, as far as the guys with the negative comments and stuff like that um, we're not doing that I'm not gonna post them I'm just gonna delete them because like I said I'm gonna keep it on a positive note hey if you think you can do it better you know good for you I'm happy for you I'll never hate I'm not a hater so I'm happy for you I'm glad you're really good at what you do and uh, stuff like that, but you know, I'm pretty good at what I do also and uh, I'd be lying to you if I told you I was the best and, and You know and I'm this and that, you know, I'm learning just like you and we're gonna learn together so once again like and subscribe You know this might not be nothing to you guys with your big old, you know million dollar tow company, but uh, you know, it's a work in progress Rome wasn't built in a day and uh, I'm gonna get there I promise you. Gianna's towing out.